Okay, guys, we're over with Field Peace, sixth annual symposium. Tony, appreciate you guys coming out here and helping us do this. It's always fun to have, and it's always good to have education in the trades and the amount of people that are willing to come and learn and show up and help, and you guys are a part of that. Absolutely. You're also got to uh, educate yourself. How did that go? Give it yeah, talk? really good. Yeah, so I gave a talk on combustion analysis. Nice. And uh, it's funny because we have three talks on combustion analysis this year, right? And so uh, the first talk was a lot about the theory of it, yeah. which I liked. And then Tyler gave a talk more on application and some theory. Whereas I wanted to focus on, all right, well, how do I use a tool to actually Here's the do tool. it? Right. Yeah. Here's a tool. This is yeah. this is how you actually do it. So and honestly, um, when you are a technician, you almost have to have the here's the tool and how you do it, and you get the buy-in. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, this is possible, and then you're willing to listen to the rest of it and and the why behind it. That, that that's what I've run into a lot. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Put it in the hands first. You guys love tools. Yeah. So that's true. That's what you it's do. True. Which is why we're here, by the way. A lot of guys are tools too. Check so out all these tools. That's why I'm standing right here. I want to hear some tools. Our array of hanging tools. Oh, wow. You actually have your mag magnets hanging. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Cool. Well, do you got something here that you want to talk about specifically? So here, no. Okay. But they'll be here at the trade show next week. Oh, okay. So the first I'll be back well, with the camera. Yes. Yeah. So the first thing I want to mention is uh, we're celebrating our 35th anniversary at Phil Peace. Okay. So okay, like, we have a that. logo for it. We have swag for it. Nice. And so there's already social media posts going out, and there'll be there'll be giveaways throughout the year, okay. promos, all wow. that, all that fun stuff. But it's something that we're really proud of. Yeah. I've been here for 25 of those years. So wow, dude. I've, I've seen from very little to wow. where we are now. Yeah. And so uh, that's great. Yay for us. Yeah. And then uh, second, so we'll be introducing some new products next week at the show. But the one I just want to call out in particular is we're coming out with a new refrigerant leak detector. Okay. So the part number is, is DRX3. Okay. And it's basically an all-in-one leak detector. So it can detect A1 refrigerants, A2L refrigerants, even A3 combustible hydrocarbon wow. refrigerants like propane, yeah. butane, in addition to natural gas like on furnaces. Yeah. So you could um, use it on it to actually, okay, that was my first question, but you answered that. Natural wow. gas and also tracer gas. So if you have a flat system, pump a little tracer gas in okay. there, pump yeah. with nitrogen, mm -hmm. and then you can also search out wow. a tracer gas um, leak as well. And the kicker is it's just this, it's just the same sensor. So like you don't have to swap out sensors oh, to wow. go to the different gas types. You just simply select on the tool. Is this an A1 refrigerant yeah. or a A3 or is it a tracer gas, you know, yeah. um, something like that. 